Very general ideas in mathematics don't happen all by themselves. They're a product of a continual tweaking of definitions. Let's look at limits, for instance. You might say that the limit as x goes to a of f of x equals l if f of x is close to l when x is close to a. That would maybe mean that's maybe a first step. Then you would have this second step, which is like from a real analysis class. For all epsilon bigger than zero, there is a delta bigger than zero such that if x minus a is less than delta, then f of x minus l is less than epsilon. Then you might tweak that into neighborhood definition. For all epsilon and delta, if x is in the delta neighborhood of a, then f of x is in the epsilon neighborhood of l. And then you would tweak the deltas and the epsilons out of that. For every open set v containing l, there is an open set U such that F of U, the image of U, is contained in V. So this happens all across mathematics. This is just one example. Don't forget to subscribe.